your first alert weather. The sunny weather continues with dry conditions, not just locally, but for the entire western half of the United States. The only exception being around Seattle. We got some of this Pacific Northwest moisture creeping into Vancouver, Vancouver Island right now and getting over the Puget Sound. And then we'll see some showers later tonight, tomorrow towards Seattle. But that's about it in terms of wet weather in the neighborhood. Uh, we are holding on to this dry weather pattern and high pressure pushing back on the clouds and showers. We've got some high level clouds as we take a live look in Idaho Falls. We're at 65 degrees. Winds currently of the southwest at 10 miles an hour and we switch it up to the Pocatello Farm Bureau sky cam numbers right now at 66 winds out of the west at 9 and it's staying sunny here for this late afternoon and as we get into the evening hours tonight we're still looking at a clear sky with just a few high level clouds wrapping around this big ridge of high pressure the high is right over northern Nevada and it's going to be settling in its southern Idaho and northern Utah by this time tomorrow and that's going to keep our temperatures on the warmer side of things but I want to show you something pretty interesting here. We got a new hurricane in the eastern Pacific. Uh, this one, Norma, is coming up the Mexican west coastline here. This is going to be hitting areas of Cabo at the tip of Baja, California, and then getting over to Mazatlan. This area of stormy weather is going to ramp up to a Category 3, this hurricane here. But it's a slow-moving storm. Yeah, she's not moving all that fast. She's going to get to a Category 3 on Thursday then drop down to a category two on Friday, then all the way back down to a one. So it picks up to a three and then it turns and heads towards the west coast of Mexico, uh, just outside of Mazatlan and then again, scraping through the tip of Cabo. But this is not gonna be a factor for us. It's not gonna send moisture in our direction because it's gonna be going back towards Texas after next week, as, as we get into next week, I should say. Back here at home, high pressure is gonna be building in over the Great Basin, moving that jet stream back up into Canada. And we keep the warm weather in play through this Friday and we're still holding on to some decent temperatures for Saturday, even though the temperatures come down just a bit for Saturday because we see this high shrink down to the southeast and then we turn our attention to an area of low pressure that's going to come out of the Gulf of Alaska as we head into this weekend. That area of low pressure is going to start to barrel on in with some showers, gusty winds, dropping temperatures for Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday. We really start to see that wet weather take hold by early next work week. For the next couple of the days, we are sitting pretty here. Light wind out of the south and southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures peaking into the 70s and we have rain and snow next week. Normal high temperatures for this time of the year would be in the upper 50s. So you can see again we're overachieving in that world where the temperatures would normally uh, be down to the 50s and last year we were seeing winter weather by this time of October. We've got 73 for McCammon, 71 in Preston, 69 for Soda Springs. We've got temperatures in the upper 60s for Rexburg, lower 70s in Swan Valley in the upper 60s in Jackson. Here's your Jackson eight day forecast. We have sunshine for Friday. We have partly cloudy skies for Saturday and Jackson's going to see the temperatures into the mid 60s for Sunday down to the mid 50s for Monday. Moving over into Rexburg highs here pushing into the 60s and 70s for tomorrow and Friday. We're in the upper 60s for this weekend with partly cloudy skies on Saturday. Central Idaho temperatures will be well into the 70s tomorrow for salmon and chows. Look at this 77 degrees. We're just a few degrees away from 80 tomorrow afternoon there for portions of Lemhi and Custer counties. Uh, Mackey's at 69 will be the upper 60s for Arco. Salmon's eight day outlook. We got 76 for Friday, mid 70s for Saturday, then the 60s for Sunday with showers getting in here for next week. We got 59 for Monday with a high of 57 for Tuesday. 74 for Idaho Falls and Blackfoot tomorrow. We got 75 in Pocatello, lower 70s in Rigby, and we're to the mid 70s towards American Falls. Lows back to the 30s and 40s tonight, getting a little bit brisk in the morning hours, but warming up nicely for the afternoon. Then we're into the upper 60s for Saturday in Blackfoot. Temperatures are going to be falling just a bit for the start of the weekend. And then as we head into Sunday night into Monday, that's when we start to feel the effects of the storm pattern. Winds are picking up. Highs are going to fall to the mid 50s for Monday and Tuesday as we head into next week with overnight lows also dropping quite a bit as well. And by the end of the eight day forecast, we're talking highs in the 40s. Idaho Falls, a high of 74 for tomorrow and Friday, 69 degrees for Saturday. But some big changes coming in here for Monday and Tuesday for next week as we pull in the wet, windy weather. And look at those overnight overnight lows getting awfully cold with numbers getting back down into the 20s. Todd will send over to you.